not every photo session goes well, even if you don't have a feel of, fear of failure. Well, it's not that Can't... it doesn't go well. It's that <laughs> things happen. Things happen. Which I would call a photo nightmare. So yeah. does, can you... I mean, what oh, comes sure. to mind? Oh, yeah. Because it's not like, for example, uh, Keith Richards is in the chapter Photo Nightmare, and not at all because he is uh, anything but uh, a wonder. He's such a wonderful person. So it's not him. It's that when he came to the session, he had recently been to Jamaica, and he was wrapping his uh, weed in uh, Wonder Bread <laughs> paper, so it was huge. And as he smoked, and I really hadn't done drugs in so long, I was probably macrobiotic, meditating, <laughs> that uh, it just kind of knocked me for a loop. And I had to excuse myself from the session and went into uh, the bathroom in my studio, and I hit the sink and passed out. And right. the, the nightmare was that everyone who worked for me in my studio left me on the floor <laughs> because they just wanted to party with Keith. But with Miles Davis, for example. Oh, yeah. He wasn't the easiest guy for you to work with. Well, it's not a matter of easy. It's a matter of when I'm asked, as I have been uh, many times, you know, what was your best moment and what was your worst moment right. and um it's so clear to me that it's miles davis was both of those and i tell the story in the book of the various tests that he put me through um until i finally got to a point that i uh really really hated him and as i said i used to meditate and do all that so i like to think of myself as a loving person but i was filled with this fiery hatred and uh, I'm not really a jazz fan. So the expectation for me when he picked up his horn and started playing to my face was not one that I would have ever imagined mm. how quickly hatred can melt. And I knew that I was in the presence of Gabriel. So that was, um, you know, that story in the in photo nightmares in rock and roll stories is a far more in depth one. Yes, it is. <laughs> but but just in, but interesting as a, by way of example, what's one of the things he did or said that made it uh, to make things difficult for you? Oh, just, uh, that was very simple. When I arrived, I said, um, "What would you like to wear, Mr. Davis?" And he said. I want you to go upstairs. I want you to go up into my closet, and I want you to bring down here any piece of clothing. That I said, excuse me, I, I just want to make sure we're clear about this. You want me to go through your... Did you hear what I said, girl? <laughs> and I want you to go through my drawers, too. Right. So I do that, and as I'm coming down the stairs with the clothes, he said, what were you doing in my closet? Right. It was torture. He was right. testing me for approximately uh, seven hours. And, you know, after six of which I thought to myself, why am I doing this? <laughs> right. 